Radio Cambridge here. Thank you for coming along today. We are talking about a possible closure of the Mill Road Railway Bridge. A new development in this topic, in this debate, in this possibility yesterday. Um, there's a group of people from round Mill Road who very much want the streets to stay open to all traffic, so much so that they have challenged the County Council's plans to close it to most traffic. Uh, and yesterday they got the nod from a judge that their legal campaign could go ahead. Where do you sit on this? Is it a good idea to close the Mill Road Bridge in Cambridge to most motor vehicles? Nick is on Come the on, Nick. Cambridge. Hi, Nick. Good morning, Dotty. Are you a, a Mill Road user? I am indeed. I've lived for 32 years just off Mill Road on the Romsey side. Uh, I love living in the area. It's absolutely great. Uh, I cycle over the bridge. I walk over the bridge. And from time to time, I drive over the bridge. Um, I mean, it's more convenient to cycle and walk, so I have to have a reason for taking the car. So taking my elderly mother somewhere or collecting heavy items, or it's just the best route. I could drive yesterday to Milton Road to collect a colleague to car share on a trip to Huntingdon. So there are times I want to use the road and to keep using the road. OK, so so you don't fancy it being mostly closed to, to people like you who, who actually it is useful to drive sometimes? Absolutely right. I mean, it's been closed before, so we know what happens. I mean, even though it was COVID and traffic levels were, were lighter because fewer people were travelling, the traffic was displaced. It went into Colmes Lane, Newmarket Road, East Road, Gongwell Place, Hills Road, Cherryington Road, and people that use those roads know they're quite busy already so a journey that used to take me 20 minutes could take me 45 minutes, which, you know, that's with lighter traffic levels than we have now. So it's a fairly daft idea, to, in my opinion, to take some of the traffic out of Mill Road and to make it a lot worse on all the surrounding roads. It's just actually creating pollution because not even the county councillors claim this move would reduce pollution on Mill Road itself. It's not in their case. So it, this isn't a pollution argument. That's a red herring. And the other thing that's slightly dodgy is the blue badge holder thing. It's not a case of I could just drive my mother over at the bridge when she has a blue badge. It has to be in a car that's registered with the council and that person has to be in it. So I could take her there but not come back on my own and so on. So uh, there's a little bit of whitewashing going on on that. But so Absolutely if, if right. It's create pollution and not solve pollution and it's going to make life difficult for residents. It's starting off as a bad idea in my book. What about um, cafe society? What about wider pavements and a beautiful environment to walk around your neighbourhood, Nick? Well, of course, they aren't closing the road, as, as your Mill Road for People person said. There'll still be buses and lorries and everything else driving up and down, so it's not some kind of pedestrian I did. Um, and actually, what's even more dangerous about it is the lorries that are delivering to the shops, if the shop, shops can stay open, are then going to have to do some kind of seven-point turn in the middle of the road to come back <laughs> out again because they're not allowed to go straight over and out the other side. Good so point. On my bicycle, coming down the bridge, I'm going to have to stop and avoid a lorry that's reversing, reversing going back and forward. And I have a lot of sympathy for lorry drivers. It's hard to see out, particularly when bicycles are whizzing around on all sides. So I don't think that's even been addressed by the council as to how that isn't dangerous. Um, you know, pretty, I'd be interested to hear how no other people or anyone else thinks that that's a great idea. And talking of dangerous, um, we know as well when the, the road bridge was shut before that... Um, Violent crime went up in the area. My wife refused to walk on the road after dark without passing traffic. It was I mean, just can, can we scary. definitely say that the co correlation is causation? There, do we know? Do we know that one thing caused the other? No, no. We, I mean, I, I can't prove one thing caused the other, but there were I think three serious incidents reported in the time that it was shut, and it was enough for my wife not to want to walk after dark. Which, if, if the idea is more walking, uh, that didn't happen for my limited um, data pool that I, I can see. So um, not, not um, very happy with the whole idea. I mean, there are pressure groups with, with big money behind them trying to close the bridge, and it's been a pet project for some councillors, but I don't think really the local residents are being considered sufficiently. And the idea that everyone's going to stop driving and start walking and cycling, well, actually in Cambridge, we have the highest level of active travel of any city in, in, in the country already, and most people are already walking and cycling where it's the best solution because that's the kind of city it is. Nick, really interesting to hear your thoughts. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Nick in Cambridge there, have your say.